So today I wanted to try and set up the X-Drop Pro and the new Eyeliner 3 to see what kind of time frame I need um, for a job. Now, I usually show up at a job a half hour early, if not more. So it's usually not an issue at all. But sometimes I have two jobs where, you know, time is tight. So I really wanted to see, you know, what is the amount of time it's going to take me to set up this, this system. Now, the X-Drop Pro so far, I am absolutely loving this. Um, you know, I know a lot of people are like iffy about it because uh, they shoot outside and so forth. But I'm always inside, um, it, you know, in a controlled environment. So this thing is just stellar for me. Um, I love the size of it. I love the height of it. Uh, the X-Drop Pro width is, is great. Um, so, yeah, I'm really all in on the X-Drop Pro. And I did order the straight gray back, backdrop which I'll explain later. Um, now this this is the very first time I'm setting up the Eyeliner 3. Um, I've never set it up before. It is a new system. It's much, much better. But I still fumbled a little bit uh, because, you know, it was my first time. Um, you know, the only thing that uh, the, those arched poles, they do go in, you know, one side or the other. They're not universal. Uh, so you have to make sure you put them in the right side. And it's just that little silver button that, you know, that clicks in. You know, it has to be on the right side. So that was the only fumble I had. But it did take extra time for me to figure that out. Uh, and I think the next time I do it, it's going to be a lot easier. Now, it does come with a silver side, you know, as the main unit. I don't like the silver side, but it it's, you know, the white side is included. And it Velcros on now, which I think is fantastic. Um, so you can, you know, do quick switches in no time. I like the white side because the silver side shows way too much light from underneath, no matter what height it's at. So that total time was nine minutes and 30 seconds. I, I'm sure I can get down to seven minutes, you know, after I use it a couple times, but it really was an easy setup and they did a fantastic job with the new Eyeliner 3, um, the setup for it. You know, if you've ever had the one or two, uh, believe me, it's going to be so much easier for you. Now, I use a silver umbrella. This is the 41 inch, you know, I'd prefer the 51 inch um, most of the time, but the 41 inch works just fine. And I actually, you know, I'm looking to even get this down lower, um, but I'm working on that. Anyway, so I'm using the silver umbrella with the B10. It gives me more than enough light. You know, you always think you need more and more and more light. And, you know, then when you're actually shooting, you don't need that much light at all. Um, you know, this is one of my basic setups, uh, you know, without the black, obviously, because I don't take the, um, the V flats unless I absolutely positively need them. Uh, and that depends on the situation that I'm in or the environment that I'm in. I always ask the color of the walls and so forth, because if they have, you know, bright colored walls, I need something to block the light from, you know, casting tones onto the, the subject. So I, yeah. I did just had a quick shoot in the studio with this setup um, to make sure everything was fine, everything worked great. Uh, you know, I did a couple silver shots. Again, no matter what height I set this thing at, it was too much light coming from underneath. I, I didn't like it at all, so I immediately went right back to the white. And it's like I said, it's easy with that Velcro. You just put it on and Velcro it on and it's done. Um, so they did an amazing job with this thing. And it's the same, you know, you can tilt it and move it and... Um, it's, it's lightweight. It is a bigger modifier. Now this is straight out of camera. This is with the white side. So I have, you know, a decent amount of shadow, but it did fill nicely. Um, and it was a little lower, but it works great. Uh, and, you know, putting it up and down, um, you know, so if you want to get a three quarter, uh, you can, you know, it's still a little tight, but you can get a three quarter. And remember, this is just one light. Um, and when... When I'm shooting with the white, you know, I can get a gray background by moving it back, okay, because uh, the light falls off. But I want to be able to move that background up close to the subject or further away and have that gray, you know, for this. This is, you know, uh, post, post-production, post throwing in a backdrop. The reason I do this is because 80% of the time when I shoot corporate headshots, they turn around and say, no, can we have a different backdrop? You know, whether it's when you show up, you know, they'll say they want this, that, or the other thing. But then when you actually show up to shoot it, 
no, we don't like that. <laughs> so I just do the gray and switch it in post. Now, this is just, we just shot some more. This is the side light. I just wanted to share it with you. Uh, this is with the highlighter. Um, it was the silver side, but I had it way low. Um, and, it, and it came out kind of good. But I did have to tone down under, underneath the chin because it, it was so bright. So my next thing is, you know, using a giant C-stand with a giant boom arm, it's heavy. It's cumbersome to travel with. So I wanted to see if I can get a boom arm with a regular light stand. Now this is the Manfrotto light stand, so it's a you know kind of heavy duty, but it's not as big and heavy as a, a C stand. So I got this newer boom arm very hesitantly because it just looked cheap to me. Um, but I gotta say I'm really impressed with this thing. It's made really well, um, and for a regular light stand, it's kind of perfect. The there's a weight at the back of it. Um, it has a clamping arm on the top part of it. It is a locking mechanism, so it has like a jointed locking, um, so it doesn't move. Uh, but this thing is, it's really tight, that one clip for the arm. The other one's the knob that you just twist. Um, it, it's, if you need a boom arm, a small lightweight boom arm, you know, for a you know, moderately sized flash, this is it. I'm, I'm telling you, it's fantastic. I'll leave a link for it in my um, description below, but um, I'm really impressed with it. So I'm trying the click, the Octa Click box, the Pro Photo one, the same thing as the Avenger, um, you know, the magnetic thing. And I wanted to see if that arm, you know, if their clamp would hold. And I don't like doing this because I don't want to trust that magnet with the A2. So, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to make sure, you know, to see if it would hold if I didn't have my clamp on the A2, you know, would this thing hold and, and be okay? And it does, but trust me, I'm going to immediately switch back to the, the, you know, connecting the A2 directly to the light stand and then magnetically attaching the soft box because if that thing falls it's a lot lighter um, and it won't damage anything with the a2 if that's just magnetically set there if it falls it's going to damage the the light for sure now that's the magmod hot shoe clamp whatever they call it um mag grip i believe it no it's it's the magmod unit it's fantastic. I love those things. Again, you know, if you use this with an umbrella, it's the umbrella is, you know, way off centered. Um, and then I'm using the barn doors uh, for this. And this is for the backlight for the hair light. I use the barn door so I can get a good spread of the light no matter what. And I can change it rather than a grid, which is just going to give me one pattern of light. Um, so, you know, that's my backlight for hair light. Um, and this system, you know, if this works, it's going to be great. I, I just wanted to try it to see. And, and the A2, you know, it's a speed light, you know, it, whatever you want to call it, it's a fancy speed light. It gives it the same output as any other speed light. Um, you know, maybe a touch more, but nothing special. Uh, and the click Octa click box, whatever the hell it is. Um, the Avenger, uh, I, I have videos on it you know, that's $99 or $120 is just as good as this one. Uh, so, you know, you can use any one you want. You can use the Godox V1 with the Avenger. It'll work just fine. So this is just me switching over to the, the bracket for the flash, and then I'll magnetically attach this the softbox. So, like, like I said before, so it doesn't fall. Um, but, you know, this putting out enough light, and I'm just testing it right now, um, if this puts out enough light and I can get away with this, this would be so much easier to carry around. That boom arm, the, the click soft up box Octa, I, you know, the light's gorgeous. And I was at, I think, maybe seven or seven point five on the on the A2, which isn't full power, and I was at f five point six, ISO sixty four, at one eightieth of a second. So I have plenty of light left um, for this and it worked fantastic so right at a camera that's what it is and then you add in the backdrop in post because like I said they always say can you change it to this or you know when you're there and they see the backdrop they go no we didn't want that kind we want this kind so you know using a gray backdrop 
versus the white, which I'll show you uh, in a future video. It just works so well. And I did all this on the iPad, in Photoshop on the iPad. So it wasn't even computer generated. It was, this is done on the iPad. That's easy and quick.